Welcome to day seven of my personal transformation journey. This is a topic called the least actionable task. I came up with this uh, a few years ago. I had gone through a cycle in life where I had had complete failure on systems that I had created over and over again. This had become a very discouraging cycle in my life. I would get inspired either by a book or by my own idea, and I would create a perfect system for living my life. I would run that system, and then a couple days later, I would completely fail. I have a stack of over 50 notebooks that show this complete failure. I basically record my progress for one or two days, and then the third or fourth day, I fail. So I came up with a better way to do it, and I'd actually completely reverse course. I flipped the model. Instead of starting with perfect, I started starting with the least actionable task. This concept basically builds on this idea that you should only start a habit forming process by doing the thing that you would absolutely do every day. So if you're going to show up and do it, and the thing that you're doing is too hard, then what will happen is you won't do it. So the best thing you can do is minimize or lower the amount of the workload of that task to be such a ridiculously easy thing that you will actually do it every day. Because here's the theory. If you can incrementally do something every day, that'll be infinitely more powerful than you doing one thing and then failing and then doing nothing for the remaining amount of time. So incremental progress is always better than starting out the gate perfect. It's the tortoise and hare uh, type of thing, right? The, the tortoise kept going, putting one foot in front of the other in the race, but the, the awesome sprinting running rabbit uh, kept getting distracted. So it's very important to start with the thing that you will actually do. So let me give you an example. So several years ago, I decided to start running. I was at a sales conference and I was feeling pretty miserable about myself and I wanted to improve. So I'd came up with the idea of running every day as a way to improve my physical, my physique. So that morning at like three in the morning, I ran. Now I had no running shoes, no running clothes, no fancy watches. I basically had a pair of shorts and my running, my dress shoes from the conference. I ran to the 18th green of that golf course. And that was it. Now, that was about 50 yards. When I got home, I realized that that same 50 yards was about the distance to my mailbox. So I was literally only running to my mailbox. Now, that was really embarrassing. So I had to start at 3 a.m. every day just so nobody would see me. But over time, I did that every day. That was such a small task, I was able to do it. So I was running every day. Now, that was a massive accomplishment for me at that time. And over time, I slowly built and got better and better, and I added more distance, and this became a habit. And sure enough, 365 days later, I had ran every day for 365 days. Now, that turned out to be a great result for me. I ended up running races, competing in races, and, and, it was, it, and I did end up uh, improving my personal health. Now, fast forward till now, I fell off running because of a health issue. And now that I'm trying to get back into it, I'm finding it very hard and almost and, and absolutely impossible to be back where I was. So I've had to admit to myself that I got to go back to running the mailbox. Now, uh, if you start on a course of self-improvement, I think it's a really good idea to map out your basic beginning course. Now, this doesn't have to be about running. It can be about walking, bicycling, working out at the gym, whatever it is, but kind of loosely map out an easy path. This is my two mile uh, course around my neighborhood. Now, you see this little red mark? That's my first progress when I started on day zero seven days ago. 
and I ran about a quarter of a mile, and then I walked the rest of the way. Now, the point here is I want to do this every day, so I can't make it so hard that I'll come up with a reason to not do it. It's got to be so easy that I'll do it. Um, in fact, on Sunday, I was down in San Diego. I was not at home. So I had to wake up in the morning and run what I thought was the right distance. And then I walked at least two miles and came back home. But the point is I'm doing it every day and I'm making incremental progress. This morning, I ran a full mile which is about right in this area right here, is, which is right up at the top of that blue curve. So <clears throat> now to make it fun, and my kids will enjoy this, I named each of these major milestone markers with a name. In this case, I named it Pennywise because when I first started, I was really afraid of clowns my whole life. Um, and I was also afraid of running. And this mile marker ended up right at a rain gutter. So it just seemed appropriate to name it Pennywise. Well, <clears throat> to this morning, I defeated Pennywise, which means on day seven of my transformation journey, I actually ran all the way to Pennywise. So I feel happy that I'm back up to running at least a mile a day, and I'll slowly add increments here on out. Now, how long do you keep up this least actionable task? Well, I hate to break it to you, but I've discovered that a true habit only really occurs after 90 days. You can forget the myth about the 18 days or the 30 days or whatever it is that people say. You must keep up with a habit for 90 days. <coughs> the reason why is because three months is about the cycle it takes to get through all the personal things in life. Things will come up travel, weather, um, issues, mood cycles, whatever. You'll have various things happen to you in a three-month period to really test your metal, test your ability to do your task every day. If you can make it past 90 days of doing something consistently, you are most likely at that point able to form, keep that habit forever or as long as you want to. And that's proven to be the case for me. I have some habits that I formed a few years ago that I still do every day um, just because they're just so ingrained. I can't really avoid it. Um, so it's 90 days. Now, do you need to do the least actionable task, walking to the mailbox or running to the mailbox? No, you can naturally increase the workload. In fact, don't fight it. Your human body will naturally adapt to the workload that you provide it. So as it adapts, you'll get signals that you've adapted completely and it's time to increase the increment. Just let that naturally happen. After 90 days, then you can start building out more of a formal objective goal, maybe even enter into some formal training program. But the point is you got to get the habit first. That's really important. And the only way that you can really do it is by establishing the least actionable task. So that's my advice, uh, and this is my uh, day seven of my transformation. Thank you.